Peter Bang, after a year and a half here with FC Malaga City, you've decided that your time here has come to an end. How would you put into words um, your year and a half here? Um, obviously, it's going to be emotional in, in terms of expressing myself. Um, but coming here it, 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 itself, it was an honor because coming to this part of the world is not an easy transition, especially from South Africa and uh, from Africa. So. Um, the opportunity that has been given to me has been it's been a privilege and, a, and an honor and I could sum up as as growth it has uh, played a very integral role in my life in terms of uh, my career and growth in in oneself in general so I'd like to place it in my heart deeply because it really means a lot how much of a difficult decision was it to, um, to leave here it was a deep and emotional one because uh, a lot of things, uh, one, uh, to consider my age, two, uh, because of the injury that I've suffered, and uh, knowing that uh, Spain, you need to be young to be able to proceed to the next level. So waiting for that, it's gonna take uh, a lot of years again in my career. And I felt that uh, it is time to, to, to part ways because uh, I think I've achieved and done what I needed to achieve to do and in actual sense it was just to create a pathway for my fellow South Africans as young people who aspire to become professionals to be able to come here and realize their dreams. People from South Africa looking at your journey what would you say to them um, for those players wanting to follow in your footsteps? Talent alone is not enough it, 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 it has to be added with uh, discipline courage, hard work, and you need to be uncomfortable so that you can achieve a lot of things because most people are being hampered by comfort and uh, they are afraid to take the risk, you know. So I had to take that risk to leave my family, to come here and uh, grow as a person, of which with that that I've acquired, I can always go back and give back to them. So compared to the level you played at in South Africa, how does playing in Europe for Malaga City compare to that? Oof, that's, that's, that's like comparing Ronaldo to Messi. They, own, they, are, the, they are best at, at their own roles. So my South African league is best at its level and Spanish is best at its level. But it's always a good transition from going higher because Spanish is a, Spain is, a foot, is the greatest footballing nation and obviously it has the greatest and best leagues in the world so coming here and learning the spanish culture it, it it really added a lot in my life living and working here what would you say is the best thing about this club you know in life once you give another person an opportunity to be able to get to where they, they, they need to be that's that's the best thing ever so for the club to actually take me in and uh, give me that opportunity, it's the best thing ever. What's your fondest memory here? <sighs> Coming here, you know, uh, being part of this family, being part of a diverse culture of which we have uh, individuals from different spheres of the world, that itself, it's, it, it's, it's very something special. In this season, you've stepped into your first coaching role in football. How has that been for you? It's been great. I, I, I'd be honest. Uh, it's, it, I had to step into another phase of my life and my career, and it came at an early age of that, of which that was considered later, around 35, once one retires. But it was an opportunity that I'm grateful for, whereby it came early and. Uh, it also added to my career and in my life because I had to step in a role of leadership. So being a leader, it takes a lot and uh, you have to be very, very keen in terms of that. And finally, what are your goals for the future? Is it to, to continue this coaching side of the game back in your home country? Yes, I'll, I'm, I'm going to look into that as well. But uh, the most uh, important thing that will be close to my heart is to see the next generation come up and take their, take their space and do the best that they can. And if I could help in terms of helping them achieve that, then I've done everything.